Hello, my name is Doug Pratt. Welcome to personalchange.info. Become more productive, effective, and knowledgeable. Today what we're going to talk about is a free alternative to Excel. Many of you are familiar with Microsoft Excel, which is a spreadsheet application of Microsoft Office. Office has been around since the mid-80s, and of course it has several applications. A spreadsheet application, which is Microsoft Excel, a Docs document application, word processing, which is Word, and a presentation application, PowerPoint. Google has its own suite of programs that are available via online access. Um, to go there, to get to Google Docs, you simply type docs.google.com. And it's going to take you there, and that's when you can see they have information on documents, they have information on their spreadsheet program, the presentations program, a drawing program, and you can also do online forms. Log in with your username and your password. You can create a new account if you don't have one. Uh, Google Docs is free. You can choose to stay signed in, which I've elected to do. So once your control panel opens up, you'll see a list of all of the different types of documents and spreadsheets and presentations that you've created. What I'm going to do right now is create a new spreadsheet by clicking on Create New, go down to Spreadsheet, and today what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple column chart to show you what Google Docs looks like. We first type in day and salary because that's the information that we want on our chart. In order to get the salary, we need to know the wage and the hours worked. So the first thing we'll do is come over to the day and enter our days. We'll just do Monday through Friday. And as I'm typing this, I've now decided that I want to go back and just have three letter abbreviations for each day for some consistency. And so it won't take up as much room on the chart. Now let's type in our wage, which is going to be an actually the hourly wage. And we're going to use the same wage every day. So once we've copied it, once we put it in the first cell, we can copy it to the other cells. And we'll change that to hourly wage. Now we'll go in and put in the hours worked for each day. We choose 6 for Monday, 8 for Tuesday, 12 for Wednesday, 12 for Thursday. Must have been a big project. And 4 for Friday because you have to leave for the weekend. So simply in the salary column, we're going to create a formula that takes the hourly wage times the hours work. Then we'll copy that formula down to the other cells in our table. Now we are ready to create our chart. So the first thing we'll do is select our day column and our salary column, and we'll say insert chart. Several different types of charts are available. We're going to choose the column chart, and we're going to type in our chart title which we're going to call this salary and of course you can correct your misspellings as you're typing and we'll also put in a horizontal axis um, you could put in a horizontal axis we won't today in a vertical axis since this is a pretty simple chart thank you for watching this video today please check out my site on a regular basis and put your comments below